Hi guys, welcome to Multiverse. So as uh, you guys probably know, we got a brand new Batman emblem not too long ago. And a question I keep on seeing uh, lately is how can we get a Batman cape? So today we're going to take a look at that. So let's get started. So today we are going to take a look at a few options to be able to get a nice looking uh, Batman cape. Uh, as far as I can tell, there's uh, three options, and I'm going to—I'm not going to show you options like uh, the Batman Beyond Wings. That's something else. The first option we're going to look at is the Batwoman cape. Yeah, it is the Batwoman cape, not the Batman cape, but it—if you look visually, it's literally the same thing. Uh, the good news for the Batwoman cape is that you can get it 100% for free. You don't need to open loot boxes. You don't need to to do anything other than farm a specific mission that I will show you in just a minute. So as you can see, it's a perfect Batman cape for a Batman character. So where or oh where can you get the Batwoman cape? Let's take a look. So the first way to be able to get the Batwoman cape is from the Temple of Crime mission. Uh, it's a mission that you can get access from uh, the Gotham uh, City map. And it's a mission that you can play over and over and over until you get the, the Batwoman cape as a, as a reward. I have to warn you, it is a rare reward. So you will have to play the mission quite a lot, unless you get really lucky. If you get really lucky, uh, you might get it quickly. But I guarantee you, odds are, you are going to have to play the mission over and over and over until you finally get the cape as a reward. The good thing is that it is you can do it for free so you can play the mission wait a bit for the mission to reset you have to wait I think 15 or 20 minutes it's been a while since I did that so you can play the mission wait a bit for the mission to reset and then you play it again and you can do that all day until you finally get the, the, uh, the Batwoman cape but again oh someone is uh, trying to have fun I'm not sure But again, I warn you, you are going to have to play the mission quite a lot before the cape actually drops for you. But if you want the cape 100% for free, that is one way to do it. You come here and you play this mission until the cape actually drops. Let's take a look at the other option. The second option and the easiest option if you are a legendary player is just to buy it from the broker. Here I'm using the broker in the watchtower. Uh, usually I use the broker in my base, but uh, sometimes I realize that maybe not everyone knows where the broker is. So in each wing, the tech wing, the meta wing, and the um, I forget the magic wing, there is a broker in each wing. So you just go there. You can just look for cape. If you want to be very specific, you can look for Batwoman's cape. And here you can see right now the, the asking price for the Batwoman cape is roughly two millions, two millions, three millions. So if you if you if you play the broker a bit, and if you shop around uh, quite a bit, you should be able to get it for two millions, maybe even a bit less if you're lucky. So if you want to have the Batwoman cape to recreate an awesome-looking Batman character, uh, that's how you can do. You can get it. You can get it from the Temple of Crime mission, or you can just purchase it from the from the broker, uh, depending on which option you prefer. The second option is the Bad Girl's Cape or the Daring Vigilante Cape. So if we look in the Style tab, you can see that the style is called the Daring Vigilante Cape. But uh, when we look at the broker, you'll see that it's actually called the Bad Girl's Cape on the broker. Why is it called two different two different things? We will never know. Here, just for the kick of it, I'm using the entire uh, Daring Vigilante style. So if you look at the cape, you'll see that there's uh, quite fewer spikes than with the Batwoman cape. But at the time, uh, there wasn't that many options to recreate our friend the Batman, so that was a nice option to have way back when. And it, it's still a nice option to have today. So where or where can you get the Batgirl cape? Let's take a look. Technically, the Batgirl cape comes from the Prometheum lockboxes. Uh, sadly, the odds of getting the cape from the lockboxes are very, very slim. You have uh, one chance in I don't know how much. So you're going to have to open a lot of uh, Prometheum lockboxes before you can get the cape. And even then, uh, yeah, there's like 800 styles in the Prometheum lockboxes. So the odds of getting the cape are very, very slim. So you pretty much have no choice but to buy it from the broker. Again, very easy way to get it. Just uh, type cape and you'll see a uh, Batgirl's cape, Batwoman's cape, and a whole bunch of other cape. 
But uh, what we're looking at right now is Bad Girls Cape. So you can see it's really fairly inexpensive, uh, 400,000. I understand that if you are a free-to-play player, 400,000, that's more money than you, can, than you can use on a broker. But for a legendary player, 400,000, uh, that's fairly simple enough to, to be able to gather. So if you are a legendary player, there's no reason why you cannot get the cape for 400,000 on the broker. And again, if we look at the uh, the actual style, so you can see the, the cape is called Bad Girls Cape, but the style is the Daring Vigilante style. Again, not sure why there's uh, two names, but it happens with uh, from time to time. Like it, the thing, the same thing happened with the Shism style, for example. So that's pretty much it for the Bad Girl, bad girl Cape. But uh, again, for the fun of it, I'm showing you the whole style so that you, if you want to recreate an, a good, an awesome looking uh, Batman character, this is an option. Another option is the future Batman cape, actually called uh, the future Crusader cape. So you can see it's pretty similar to the Batwoman cape uh, with the amount of uh, all those spikes at the end of the cape. But you can see on the shoulders uh, there's like a bigger piece. Uh, it's a bit bulkier on the shoulders. I will show you the actual style in just a minute, it'll make a bit more sense. So as you can see the style is called the Future Crusader style. And it is basically inspired by uh, Batman, the future version of Batman that we see right at the start of DC Universe Online. So if you want to recreate a Batman looking uh, character, uh, this is a great option. There is the this here is the regular version of the style. And this here is the enhanced version of the style. Uh, the styles are pretty similar, but you may have noticed uh, some of the colors don't separate quite the same. Uh, also, there's a few uh, shiny, shiny bits. Uh, sadly, if you put your character black and gray, you kind of lose those shiny bits. So if, you, if you're if you looking to make a quote-unquote accurate Batman character, uh, you don't really need the enhanced version. Or the enhanced version will not be that much better than the regular version. And where, or oh, where can you get the Future Crusader style? Let's take a look. So the future Crusader style comes from the uh, the original time, ca time capsule. The very first time capsule we got, that's where the future Crusader came from. And in the capsule, there is the enhanced version and a re regular version of the future Crusader gear. Your second option is to just buy it from the broker. Um, last I checked, it wasn't that expensive, but it, it's been a while. So uh, sadly, as I have to warn you, prices on a broker changes all the time. But if you have uh, if you have the money to be able to buy it, you can just buy it from the from the broker, as you can see. Although we don't have the enhanced version, uh, we only seem to have the regular version on the broker somehow. I'm a bit surprised. I'm not sure why the enhanced version is not uh, up for sale here. Uh, let's take a look at another option then. And your third option to be able to get the Batman cape is from our friend Booster Gold, the future Crusader cape, I should say. So if we scroll all the way down, uh, sadly we're going to have to scroll a bit. So you can see you have the Enhanced Future Crusader Cape Box for 584 Quarks. How can you get Quarks? You can get Quarks from Time Capsules. And you get the Future Crusader Cape Box for 193 Quarks. And you can, you can get those basically for free if you're a little bit patient. If you are a free-to-play player, you can get the cape completely for free. All you have to do is play the Stabilizer Fragmentation mission every day, and eventually you will get enough stabilizers to be able to open time capsules. And after opening enough time capsules, you should be able to get enough quarks to be able to purchase the cape from our friend Booster Gold. So that is pretty much how you can get a Batman cape for your Batman character. So your three options right now are either the Batwoman cape, the bad girl cape or the future crusader cape and in the case of the future crusader cape you can decide to go for the regular version of the cape or the enhanced version of the cape you decide and just as an added bonus uh, someone had su suggested in the comment section that you could use the argus chest to be able to recreate a nice looking uh, robin um, it actually kind of works uh, you have to use the, the green arrow shoulders and obviously it's not the classic version of Robin because the, the chest piece has long sleeves, but it's a nice enough uh, version that I thought uh, you guys might get a kick out of seeing it. 
So that is pretty much it for now, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask so in the comment section down below, and I'll see what I can do about answering your questions. So as always, guys, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.